Hi guys, today we'll be learning how to do a sky replacement using the chroma key here in DaVinci Resolve. Now, there are a lot of tutorials online that shows you how to do a sky replacement using a luma key here. However, the luma key here doesn't always work. It only works when your sky is too bright and your foreground is too dark. So we will use a chroma key here in this tutorial. This is a footage of some mountains. And let me go over to the fusion page. With media in one selected, I'll hold down control, space, and search for chroma key here, enter. And I will select the sky like this. And the sky just disappeared, just like that. So basically a chroma key here works by removing all the parts, all the colors that you have selected. So I selected blue, so it will remove all the blue chrominance. And I have to select a few times. And also I have to scrub through the entire video to make sure that no sky is left. Also, you can click on this drop down and change this from color, which is default, to alpha. And the black parts represent the transparent parts, and the white part represents the opaque parts. So you want the sky to be completely black. And also, we want to remove the black parts from our mountains because mountains shouldn't be transparent. So, we will fix that by selecting chroma key here, control space, and we'll add a polygon node. Then we will click on invert, and let's go to the start of the clip by clicking this, and we'll draw a area with our polygon as such. The area selected by the polygon determines the area that the chroma key is affecting. So let me play the clip and as you can see the mountains is moving. So we have to adjust the polygon accordingly. The good thing about the polygon is you don't have to set keyframes manually. It will automatically shift when you adjust the points. So let me play this back. Alright, now let me just remove some of the noise from the sky. Okay, I think it's looking pretty decent now. Let me change this back to color. And I will add my background sky, which is this sunset from my media pool down here. I will connect the output of the sky to the output of the chroma key here and a new merge node will appear. Now we see just the background sky, and because the background is connected via the green arrow, which is the foreground input of our merge. So we'll select merge 1, Control T to swap the inputs, and now our sky is on the background. Alright, now click on chroma key here, and click on matte, and you can add some blur to the edges, because now the edges are looking very hard and sharp, so let's add some blur. Something like this looks good. Alright, now there's one last issue and that is that the sky is moving independently from the foreground. And we want the sky to move together with the foreground. To do that, we will select media in one, which is our mountains. Control space and we will add a planar tracker node. Then I will drag this planar tracker into our viewer and I will select an area for tracking. Just make sure to select high contrast points. Then we will click set on reference time and change our motion type to translation rotation scale and we will track to end. Go to the start and track to start. Once done, click on create planar transform and a new planar transform one node will magically appear out of nowhere. Magic. We will drag this in between our media in 2 and merge node and hold down shift as you are doing so and release your mouse click and now it's connected between these two nodes. Let me play this back in our viewer. As you can see now the sky is following our foreground which is a good thing but there's a bit of transparency over here so we will select the sky which is media in 2, control space 
and add a transform node and we will increase its size to cover the transparent part and I will adjust the aspect ratio as well Right, let me go back to the edit page and play this back in full screen. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content and see you guys again next time.